views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. LQ. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen, and I've got quite a bit I want to share with you today. We were off last week for a little bit of family time break, so it's good to be back with you live again today. And we do have our video live streaming going. If you want to check that out, that's at jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. It's also on my YouTube, and that's the same thing. Just look up Jen Royster. So here we go. Now, we're talking about the new moon that comes in tomorrow, uh, June 23rd. We just yesterday had the solstice, the summer solstice, and so that was energetically significant. But I want to focus on the Neptune retrograde that started on June 16th and will run until November 22nd. It's a it's a pretty big deal, and it will affect people sensitive and it it goes into a lot of what we're dealing with right now. So I wanted to put a little bit more out there on that and the new moon for tomorrow. And I decided, yeah, why not do them both? It's a lot to put in one show, but we're going to do what we can. So I won't be able to touch on every little detail, but I do want to do that. Uh, Every week I always ask the angels what they want me to share with you. And so that was specific to what I asked them. What can I share with the uh, show audience about this Neptune retrograde that we're going to be experiencing for the next five months and the new moon and how we can make the most of all these energies? It's been a big power packed year of major changes in all of our lives. Everyone's feeling it one way or the other. There's a lot of people awakening for the first time spiritually. It's like, what is this going on? We're having all the physical symptoms. We're having emotions all over the place. The mind is challenging us and things that we knew that that was it and we could always rely on, maybe not so much anymore. And that's part of all the changes because it's important that things that aren't going to work for you anymore fall away so that we can put new things in place. If your energy is completely drained trying to hang on to things that were It's hard to have the energy for where you're going and the new things that you're in now. So we're going to put a little bit of light, shed a little bit of light on that. So I want to say thank you to everyone that tunes into the show that's been watching for years or listening. And, you know, we have a lot that listen on the archives. We always have archives afterwards and we always have backup recordings of everything just in case we have a little glitch because that seems to be happening lately on my end. Uh, with video, but that's because of the energies. And I had to smile and just be okay with that. And just you, just to let you know, and the station, by the way, uh, you might hear birds here and there um, in this in this recording. They're quiet now, but right outside my window, we have brand new baby Caroline Renz that were born right in my uh, one of the hanging baskets I put out there. They like to put their nest in in baskets of flowers that I put out. They did it last year. They did it again this year. And mom's real busy and they're growing and they're thriving and they're close to fledging. So they're making all kinds of noise right outside the window. And now I think maybe they're taking a nap. We'll see. 
I've had wonderful experience with nature in the last month. I mean, babies of all type that I don't usually see. Lots of people have uh, birds make nests in their, you know, in their yards or in their plants and stuff like that. That's not an uncommon thing. It's fairly new for me. All of a sudden, they just decided they want a beer. But I've seen, and I think I think I told you guys that uh, a couple of weeks ago, I've seen tiny little baby dragonflies several times, which I've never seen the little tiny ones. They're so small. I mean, you almost don't realize they're dragonflies. Usually I see them bigger at the regular size. And then also praying mantis, we've seen the tiny ones. And it's just unusual. So I know nature is talking to me about brand new everything, brand new everything, brand new everything. Everything is evolving. That's just messages that's, that's a synchronicity for me on how I pick up when they're answering me. Now we have the baby birds. And these guys are just cute as a button. So with that said, those are the types of things that bring uh, major joy to my life. I love nature. I love, you know, just the simple little things in life. They just make everything, if it was a gloomy day, feel better. Now, on the new moon and the Neptune retrograde, one of the biggest things that the angels wanted me to focus on today was about imagination, which is really actually quite amazing imagination think about your imagination some people think it's just your imagination yep exactly but not exactly your imagination is very important right now and they want me to bring focus to that today don't discount your imagination you don't want your imagination to run away with you in a negative way but just as it can do that you can have it go in a very positive way And that brings energy to what you're manifesting. And it was a very important point, and I really loved it. And in fact, uh, let me see if I can find it. I've got a lot here, though. But what, what I was looking at earlier was a wonderful thing that um, Einstein said. He was saying, imagination is more important than knowledge. Albert Einstein said that. He really did. I was like, wow, there was a little bit more to that phrase. I'm trying to find it. So these notes are huge. Um, Here we go. So he said, imagination is more important than knowledge for knowledge is limited. Whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. That was a very powerful statement that was perfect for what we're talking about today, because your imagination is a create creative outlet for you. It's creating what you want to, you know, live. It's brand new. So it was a real important point they wanted me to bring up today. So going back, now I got to scroll way back, I know. And I got this on the thing that I can go really fast, but it's very important. Um, And while I was reading the newsletter yesterday, I was having so much fun with that. And it got almost got silly because all these little things were popping up in my head. But Imagine a better world, okay? Wrap your brain around a better world. Why not? And then choose to live it. We're in that time right now where we can do this. Now, you have to, it's it's kind of getting past all the illusion. I call it illusion or what they want you to believe out there in the world. What is the negatives and all that? Um, a lot of that is just everything crumbling down that needs to happen, in my opinion. This is my opinion, okay? This is a metaphysical show. I'm all about the energy. So please understand that when you're listening to this show. I'm expanding into a different avenue of reality because we can choose to live differently. When we choose individually to do that, just imagine if everybody did. Imagine a place where there's no war. I mean, didn't didn't John Lennon have a phenomenal song about that one time? Hey, was he way ahead of his time, wasn't he? I mean, that's what we want to do. So that's what we're talking about today. And quickly, I'm going to start diving into that when I get back from break. We're about to go to break. But I did quickly want to acknowledge a beautiful message I got yesterday in the email. And I want to say thank you. I was... Very touched at heart, and it was 
just very warming, and, and I really appreciate this message. They weren't asking anything. They didn't have a question for the show. They wanted to say thank you, and this is what they wrote. They said, please tell Dr. Royster, uh, you can call me Jen at any time, guys, that we are so grateful for her show and her teachings and that we are sending love and light to her always. Signed, a happy listener in New Jersey. <laughs> so you know what? Thank you. That really touched my heart, and it makes everything we do and how we work so hard to put a good show together for you worth it. And, you know, honestly, we don't know. We put it out there, and we don't know what we're going to have from one moment to the next. So, you know, thank you for that. So in a moment, we have to go to break because it's getting, yeah, we're going to have to go to break. When we come back, we're going to start diving in, and I'm going to start with what the angels are telling us for the Neptune Retrograde. Because that's what we're in right now. Then we'll go into the new moon that comes in tomorrow and how all this is kind of tying together and how important this time is right now to imagine a better world. So with that said, we're going to take that break. And when we come back, we will keep powering on. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We will be right back. Tune in to the hit show, Mouthing Off with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Treat the body and expand the soul on June 1st with Lynn Brown. In this all-inclusive retreat, you'll treat your body with breakout sessions in the various elements of nature. Enjoy fireside chats while harnessing the healing energy of fire. Allow more light with more ease and activate that connection between the body and spirit. Call 206-931-7356 or visit lynnmbrown.com. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship, this hip call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. And welcome to the show if you're just tuning in. We're talking about angel guidance for this current Neptune retrograde and the new moon that's coming on June 23rd in Cancer. So let's talk about this Neptune a little bit. Now, Neptune 
is a planet or um, I'm sorry, it's it's when it is going direct, which is moving forward. It's easy to and this is the points I want to bring up. It's easy to put things aside that you might need to deal with on a deeper inner level. It's easier to, you know, kind of go ungrounded. It's a very spiritual influence. Uh, a lot of people that are very psychic or mystics have a lot of Neptune influence in their charts for astrology purposes. So Neptune is also associated with Pisces energy. And it's a very spiritual, emotional, sensitive, right brain, creativity, artist, you name it. So all of that side, okay? When it's moving direct, if there was a real strong influence in that, it, and this is the way I understand it after studying this, okay? So, I mean, everybody's got some opinion on this, but this is the way I understand it. It makes perfect sense. You have a tendency to avoid those deep places or you might, you know, it might be easier just to have escapism. Let's put it that way. When it goes retrograde, now this is the planet that it's a little bit different from the other ones. When it goes retrograde, it's bringing in reality checks and kind of grounding you and you can't quite avoid like you used to. Is anybody relating to that as I say that? It's like, oh, I used to be able to just kind of, you know, handle these emotions and skate by and not fall apart and cry at work or whatever it might be. If you're feeling that, it's bringing you in front of things that are very important for you to address and heal. And it's not trying to torture you or put you through a hard time. It's actually showing you some truths, some deeper truths that you need to see. You're going to find that you will have more clarity on the direction or where you really want to go, or you'll start to see things in a different perspective that you never saw before. Now, some people have reported they're not connecting or they can't seem to fly away, you know, in meditation like they did. You will be able to, again, this is just kind of bringing a reality of you can do that and be in the body in the grounded place. So it's kind of an interesting dynamic that it's playing right now and for five months. That's one of the big ones I wanted to share. And I want to say hello to the chat in the video streaming. They're over in the chat and I just want to say hello. Good luck with the job interview. Somebody's got a job interview they're going to. Good luck with that. And they want to know what this thing was. Is that an iPad? Yes. I'm, I was scrolling on the thing. I know. I was like, yes, it's an iPad. It's easier than a bunch of noisy papers. So I thought that would be better and quieter. So here we go. Now, Neptune, like I said, it, it's intuitive. It's going to work with intuition, creativity, spirituality. But being logical and grounded and not avoiding and not escaping watch out for addiction things that you may want to just do to escape and addictions can be anything they don't have to just be alcohol or drugs that could be some people will exercise themselves 24 7 just to not you know you might find that you're overdoing something balances everything here it's very important and when i ask the angels okay this part right here which is a very important, it has a lot of aspects, but this is one of the main ones I wanted to bring you to. Because imagination is a big one, it's going to take you to where you might have had some trauma or something that happened, or maybe you're just not letting go of something in the past. Time to do it. Stop wasting everybody's time and yours. Move on, okay? That's kind of like the tough way to say it. But it's kind of, you know, have you look at that and go and show you where you are clinging to it and how it's affecting your life right now, how it's wasting your time with where you're trying to go, where, where you're trying to go. Uh, it'll show you things like that. And so uh, it's kind of a, you know, it's a it's a really hard one to explain. I'm trying to explain it quickly. You know, when you are going into that deep place where it's emotional or it, it you know, it hurt. And we usually do the escapism, which is easier when it's when Neptune's going direct, to avoid going there because it makes me upset. 
right? That's a that's a pretty much one that I think most people can relate to. This isn't going to be so easy this way, and that's not a negative. Uh, it will have you address those negatives, and then with your imagination, with your creativity, Neptune will also help you rewrite it. It's going to help you rewrite it. Michael was very strong coming in about this one and Archangel Michael. And I loved how he was bringing in. He brought me to that with Albert Einstein's thoughts and how to use the imagination. The imagination is not something to allow it to run away and fall off the deep end. This five month period, Michael said, use this energy to reel that back in. Okay. It's going to cause you to want to reel it back in because you're going to go, oh, this is craziness. Reel it back in. Don't avoid the emotions. Allow that to process because in tears, you're releasing energy. In, in any of the, you know, emotions help us move energy. They help us move that energy, release it in different ways. Uh, all of them, happy, joy, sad, you know, all of them. When we're going through something painful, allow it to help you process that and move through it. Now, if you're really in over your head, don't forget, you know, there's always help out there. That's what people like me are, you know, that's why I do what I'm doing here. I don't want everybody to feel like they're the only one going through this. A few days ago, I was feeling this up and down thing and I went, wow, what is this? So I just sat down with it and I said, okay. Let's see what it is. I started diving in and yes, it will show you when you want to sit down and go, okay, I'm listening. It's kind of like the energy of the universe is saying, are you ready to listen? We, we really want to show you some important things that are going to really help you with your soul journey. Your higher self's all about this. Absolutely. So what part of you, if there is a part, you know, like for those that are feeling this, emotional thing or this awakening and just seems like the whole world is flipped upside down. Where do you see it holding you back? Where do you see, you know what, I really should change my attitude about that. What if I could imagine a more positive perspective on this instead of the complaining or, or why won't it work? Or I keep trying it and it doesn't happen. Things like that. Um, look for any of those nuances and they could be slight. You could be thinking, I'm doing everything good. I'm doing everything good. There is a positive and a negative, a light and a dark because they counterbalance each other. We can't see where we need to grow and shine light without some of the dark. So there is an aspect to darker parts that help us. So, I know I'm getting deep in that, but it's important because we need it. Um, Neptune really deals with illusion, denial, where we're lying to ourselves, where we're just not being realistic with some things. And on the other half of it, I mean, that's where you're going to see some things right now because it went retrograde, right? When it goes direct, if you were to get an anchor and a footing and a strength and oh, okay, you know, I need to just uh, look at that a little bit better. I could do that better. I could think and, and move that in a different way, much better than I have been. Then when, you know, you're ready, you don't even have to wait till it goes direct, but whenever you're ready, the universe is ready because it's all about you growing. I want you to think about that. That's so big. Michael says, now's the time. If there's been things that you've been avoiding, if there's been things that you've been holding back and you really want to change, or maybe you just feel like I can't figure out how to change it. I mean, it, maybe it's like that. Uh, now's the time to actually do something proactive with it. And guys, I really get how that is because I mean, I've been working on classes for you guys and I've been working on that and it kept changing and I'm still doing it. And people were probably thinking, well, where are they? Well, time and space is changing too. It's not about a timeline. I kept trying to put it in a timeline and things need to be in their own time. So they're still there, but I'm allowing it to show me how, when, 
which way to approach it. It's kind of like surrendering to the whole, do it this way, because that's the way everybody says to do it, right? Whatever it is you're doing or not doing, what is the right thing for you? One of the clues would be, and Michael brought this up, what brings peace to your heart and just soothes and calms the anxiety? What does that for you? Think about that. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to keep powering on with some of these messages and this depth of Neptune retrograde. And we're also going to talk about that new moon coming and what we can do with these energies. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Roycher show, or you might be watching our video live stream. You can check that out at jenroycher.com. And we will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. You, yes you, can be the highest version of yourself. Wellness coach and natural beauty expert Dr. Agnes Renkel is on a mission to help you play the game of your life. Win in vibrancy, health, and beauty. Because you deserve it. Dr. Agnes goes beyond the limits in her personal coaching sessions to revolutionize health and wellness. Now is the time to unleash your true power. For more information, visit DrAgnesFrankel.com. When your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, I'm Steve Kramer of Spirit Fire Radio, and I believe that meditation changes everything. It leads us in the direction of greater well-being, and that's a fact. I struggled with meditation for years. I understood the principles, but I found it hard to incorporate them into my everyday life. Spirit Fire's meditation practice changed that. It's called the Practice of Living Awareness, and it's taught in 14 steps. These are 14 tools that I can use in any moment, on and off the cushion. Steps like smile, flow, and ground of being support my clarity of mind while I'm navigating the ups and downs of modern life. That's why it's called the Practice of Living Awareness. If you'd like to add meditation to your daily experience, the Practice of Living Awareness is free, online, and it's suited for any level of practitioner. Visit spiritfire.com for more information. And be sure to check out Spirit Fire's meditation retreats in Western Massachusetts. It's all there at spiritfire.com. And welcome back to the show. You are listening to the Jen Royster Show if you're just tuning in. And we're discussing some angel guidance for the Neptune retrograde that it, it began June 16th all the way to November 22nd. So we're in that now for a few months. I felt it was important to address that. And we have a new moon tomorrow on June 23. And we'll talk about that one too in just a bit. But I want to wrap this up on the Neptune before I move over to the new moon. Now, for the highly sensitive, empathic people, okay, you're going to feel this one a little bit, and here's how you will. You might be feeling a lot more emotional than usual. Um, you might be feeling where, you know, it, some people will feel the heat, the hot, the cold. This is energy processing, but it feels like it's just 
overloading you the way it did when you were first coming on board with spirituality and now you're why why is it feel like I'm going backwards you're not going backwards you're moving up actually and I really want to address that it's so important now for those that have been on the spiritual path for a while and we learn how to process this every time I do energy healing I do get warm I mean that's just how the energy moves through and warmth is the transmuting and the burning off like the fire so once you realize that, okay, fine. Well, then you feel like you're leveling out. You have that balance. Now, all of a sudden this year with everything happening and the energy we're in now, it feels like it's strong again to where I don't feel balanced. Exactly. Here's why. The shift is nudging you to kick it up a notch. And why is that? Because the frequency of Earth is going up. Everything's changing. Uh, you you got to catch up and you your body is working to catch up and balance with a higher frequency. So you want to resonate at a higher frequency. What we did worked before. Nothing wrong with that. It's just time to move up to the next level. So you might find that it feels like it did when you were first starting a little bit. And that's why I want to address it, because you're not going backwards. You're, that actually means, oh, I'm moving up. So when you feel that, allow the process. Do what you can. I mean, you can try some of the things you always have done, but it is going to be a detoxification process on emotions, mental, physical. You're going to feel like you need a detoxing. You also might find that you're doing strange cravings for certain foods. I mean, I do that here and there, and I just listen to that because it's saying I need whatever is in this a little bit more. And say, you know, some people ask me, well, what does that mean if I crave potato chips, right? Look deeper into what the nutrient is that you are missing. And, it's you know, because sometimes those cravings can kind of mess with you a little bit. And it's not... It is trying to talk to you. It's a message from you, your vessel, your body that, hey, I need some help. We're trying to work all this energy going through. We're getting a little tired. We need a little bit of extra this or that. You want to listen to that. That's intuitive eating. I've done shows on that. And honestly, I, I do that. I use intuit, intuition for what I'm eating. There'll be times where, okay, I need to eat cabbage you know or coleslaw and and that's a detoxification type of food cleans out the liver i live a pretty clean life but i'm also working with a lot of energy to support the energy work that i do i have to support my vessel my body so that's why i'm saying that to you so if you feel this if it's a healthy food, then, you know, go ahead, have it a little bit. You're not going to stay in that craving forever, but you might be finding that, hey, why am I craving eggs all of a sudden? Maybe you need more biotin or something like that, or maybe there's a vitamin deficiency somewhere, but nothing to be alarmed about. Okay, now emotions. Emotions need to be processed at this time. That's where this Neptune retrograde is going to really help you with that. Uh, Michael was saying, call on him. Just call on him whenever you feel like I'm in over my head, I'm getting overwhelmed. So he can just kind of give you that reassurance. You're still going to do the work yourself. He's not going to do everything for you, but he will support you. Just like what we're trying to do here in the show, support you and let you know you're not by yourself. We have to do the work inside on this one, guys. We have to. Nobody can do this for us. It's going to take you deeper to see the bigger picture of life. That's what Neptune's about as well. Neptune has a way of taking you to see the spiritual aspects where, you know, a higher view, like the bigger picture. Bigger picture is a big deal. If you had an awareness that was expanded, then just right smaller it would make more sense why some things are happening the way they are. And with that, there's the aha moments that come through. And then it's like, okay, I get it. And when you're dealing with something that, you know, maybe you're trying to let go or release or forgive, or, you know, maybe you had a loss or, you know, someone died that you miss and you're grieving, whatever it might be. Maybe you're dealing with a health issue. Maybe you're trying to figure out uh, finances, whatever it might be. 
Neptune can help you with that because seeing a bigger picture is going to help you see clearly and how to make choices on a smaller level. So this planet retrograde is nudging and helping us expand our consciousness in big ways. And it's doing it over a few months. It moves much slower than a retrograde. So that's a little bit on that. There's so much more. You know, I want to, the one more thing I wanted to address. If you are empathic, watch out for codependency or, you know, feeling like you got to take care and fix it and do all that. Watch out for falling back into those old traps. You know, you might feel like you need to do that. I'm just calling it out because there's going to be some of you feeling like you're being yanked all over the place by that. There'll be things that will happen that will give you options to change the way you approach it, change the way you respond to it. So that's a big deal. That's huge. Um, and also taking taking the whole bigger picture about, well, if I was – if I'm doing that and I keep helping them like that, I'm enabling them to not to stay where they are. You know, you don't want to do that. You're going to grow. They're going to grow if you don't do that. So I did want to address some of the highly sensitives out there. Watch out for that. You know, you're going to feel like, wait, what is going on? Not a negative here, guys, unless that's what you're choosing. We want to keep that positive imagination through this one. That's why Michael kept saying, imagination is key. Your imagination, allow your creativity to flow. Allow yourself to see a bigger picture in your mind, in your dreams. I'm telling you guys, when you do that more than not, you're actually going to be working to shift and manifest the reality that you've been longing for. Your mind has to become, has to come to a place of believing that it can shift and it can change. Yes, I can get the finances straight. Yes, I don't have this problem. Yes, I can, you know, move forward. Yes, I can let that go. All these things. This is a big one here. Uh, that's why I wanted to bring it up. Now, it's interesting because as we shift over to the new moon and the solstice, you know, wow, that was a big one too. I won't even, I don't even have time to get solstice, but uh, now the new moon, Okay, is in cancer. That's a water sign. That's an intuitive sign. That's an emotional one. That's a nurturing, you know, that's an energy that is, you know, wants you to come back home a little bit. And for some of you with all this combination of energies, uh, Michael said, you may feel that you want to stay closer to home at times. You may feel like, what, am I turning into a hermit? Don't look at it that way unless it is getting in. But when you're going on a spiritual path or you're empathic and you're working to detox energies off, alone time is very healthy for people like that. Light workers understand that, and you probably are feeling that as a light worker right now. Um, anybody in the spiritual uh, working with lots of people, and I know that I need that. I mean, I'm working with you in masses and I can feel you I get so hot just doing the show I can feel you guys that are listening or with me right now and we're processing all of that together yeah you wouldn't believe how cold I have this room and I'm still hot I know it just is like it just does that that's what it's always done for me and I know that it's processing off I know that Michael's with me because whenever he's around it has a fire and a warmth and it's transmuting and burning it off so I want you to see it that way. Uh, the new moon being sensitive and then you have Neptune being a spiritual, they're kind of working hand in hand. So we're also in this new beginning. So what is driving this here? The new, the new way you want it to be. Guys, it's time to rewrite what's going on. Don't, don't keep rewriting the past. I want you to look at life right now as a completely blank slate, no more of that, that one's gone, that's done, what would you write right now on that? If you were creating your life and you, you know, visualize it as a book or a drawing or whatever, do that now. This energy is perfect for this. 
And honestly, it helps to put your imagination energy into moving through this. This is going to be one of the best ways to work through this energy. Some people are, I don't do any of that. I'm all left-brained. I'm analytical. Okay, that's fine. But you're going to feel it too. You may feel it in more of a frustration. If you, I don't want to say if you don't try this, but I'm suggesting, you know, do a project. I know a lot of people that are analytical and left brain that enjoy, you know, home projects like impro- home improvement or, you know, redesigning the garden or whatever. So, or fixing something, anything, anything, making something better, improving something, organizing a desk, you name it. There you go. There is no excuse for anybody here because this energy is phenomenal. It's fantastic. It's what we need right now. So, With that, we're taking another break, and when we come back, we will wrap it up. I want to give you a little bit more on this new moon coming in. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. We will be right back. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And we are back for the last segment. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about this Neptune retrograde that's effective until November 22nd and the new moon that's coming in tomorrow on Friday, June 23rd. That might be the 24th if you're in a different part of the world. So a little bit more on the new moon and what Michael had to say about that. Now, because it's emotional, 
And because it's a sensitive sign, it's also got a positive aspect here that will help you out, guys. Because imagination, like I said, is so important. We want to use the power of dreaming a reality into existence. We want to we want to use that imagination to focus and think and just go there, kind of like daydreaming. This really is supporting that because it's helping to clarify to the universe what it is you really want moving forward as well. Now, it's going to have a restorative, peaceful vibe, this this new moon. It's also a super new moon, by the way, just like we had in May. And you want to look back, if you can recall, what was going on for you in May during that one? Because this one relates a little bit to that. It might stir up what was going on and occurring during that May new moon. So you want to look into that if you can recall what was going on about a month ago. And then it's going to help you resolve or find some solutions. Okay. It's going to help you finish unfinished business, unfinished whatever. So that's a good thing. See, and with imagination and with Neptune's uh, influence here kind of carries you a little bit further. You know, we're feeling things a little bit more right now, even if you don't normally. So it does feel like it's topsy-turvy or something just flipped everything upside down. But that's a good thing because we don't see different perspectives when we just see it the same way all the time. Or everything's in place and everything's perfectly smooth at all times. We don't see the potential of a different way of doing something. We don't see the potential in ourselves. So this is really a time where you're going to find that. And uh, one of the things that Michael said was, don't forget that I'm a wonderful archangel for life purpose. And don't forget that one of the biggest focuses of Neptune is anything that is of the negative hatred or you know, anger is, you know, where love and joy need to go. So you're looking for that internal within yourself. We do need to do that a little bit more right now. And we've been doing that, but not about what somebody else is doing or what another group is doing or whatever. What can you change? Where are, where is that within yourself? Because that's big right now. Now, Another one is you could feel the emotions running a little high. You could feel that ringing in the ears is louder than it's ever been. Those are some of the spiritual awakening signs or symptoms, I guess is a way to put it, that people have been sharing and there's nothing physically wrong. They're just having all these crazy things going on. I mean, I've had things that, you know, they seem very real. I mean, thought I tore my knee a few days ago and then you wake up the next day it's completely gone but what I did was instead of going oh no oh no oh no what did I do could hardly walk on it could touch it I went straight to the energy I went straight all right what is this okay I got to surrender something that's usually what a knee is for me it's like what are you not surrendering I went to that found what I needed to do next day I woke up it was gone that was an energetic Thing that was happening that felt very real and physical. I'm not saying that some of that isn't a doctor visit. I'm saying if you go and there's nothing there, they can't find anything, you want to look at the energy. Is this an energy to process? Is this an emotion to detox? Is this something to surrender and release and let go? It's a big deal. So that's why I'm sharing that because I, get, I have it going on too, guys. I do all the time. So it's crazy stuff. Now, one one thing about the moon is this one is right at the halfway point, okay? It's officially ringing in is the way it's been described as it's officially ringing in. Okay, here we go, guys. Now we're in this new beginning. So that's where Michael was saying, imagine the world the way you want it to be. Close your eyes. And live it that way in your dreams. Live it that way. Go there because what that's doing is it's going to raise that frequency. It's going to heal things on an energetic level. And it's also going to brighten your spirit and your enthusiasm about things. And everything has this domino effect because, okay, 
I keep trying to do this or I keep trying to get a job or I keep trying to work things out in my relationship and it doesn't ever work. It's going to help you. Neptune, Neptune looking at this from different perspectives and going there with this a little bit and writing this energy to what it can show you and expand your perspectives to see something new. You might see, you know what? I've never tried that. Maybe if I approach it this way and you'll see those things, they'll just come if you apply yourself, the universe will deliver, but you have to apply. And it can't be the same way. It can't be everything that's wrong. We have to put that down. Um, if you had two boxes, one was all your possibilities and one is all the stuff that doesn't work. How full is each box with everything that you say and state about your life? If you make the estate, if you make a statement that I'm not getting anywhere, it's not changing, which box do you think that's in? Or if you want to change it, go into the possibilities. That's where imagination, and if you think of a child's imagination, they just, the sky's the limit, right? You need to go there. You have that within you. We forget it sometimes as we grow older and we get bogged down with a lot of things in life. And this dimension, yeah, it's chaotic right now, but there's higher frequencies coming in there's other dimensions out there and that's what I want to share with you they're all there uh you could see all kinds of stuff going on around you and then you know it's not for you vice versa it doesn't mean you won't have things happen and I do all the time like I told you about my knee the other day which was a crazy thing that happened and it didn't it just happened for no reason because it was talking to me because I wanted to work with the energy. It gave me the signals I needed. It was a pretty loud one. But I went, you know what? Need to go there. Wow. And I thought, man, I didn't think I had that. But I did. So I'm very, I'm being very humble and saying, honestly, I haven't got it all figured out either. I'm still working on it too. And I'm sharing these things with you. Because we're all figuring it out. That's what we're doing. Everything that I'm discovering, I'm sharing with you as I receive it. Take it or leave it. But honestly, what have you got to lose? It doesn't cost anything to work with your imagination. It's something that's within you. And nobody can take it away. Nobody can take it away. So I do want everyone to think about that and how wonderful life could actually be if you were to just give it an opportunity for a different perspective. What if you just allowed your mind to create what you really want your life to be like. A lot of times people realize that when they actually start going there and they start really accepting that and it starts to actually come into reality, they start finding that they're doing some resisting things. They start finding that they're, oh, wait. And then they start, it actually is going to show you where you're blocking it because you're so used to it not happening. And then when it happens, I've heard this so much about success. They go, uh, you know, well, then I'll have all this extra responsibility. Then I'll be in a higher tax bracket. Then I'll have to hire an accountant. All this. You see what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. So you will find where you're blocking your own successes, your own shift. If you use imagination and then it'll show you and then you'll go, you know what? Then you choose, you know what, I'm not doing that anymore. Let's change this. Let's be brave. Let's pull ourselves out of this box and let's get over into the possibility box and let's move on. Because now's the time, guys. If you haven't done it, now's the time. I hope you've enjoyed some of the insights. Michael was really assertive with this. Just about all of this was coming from him. And I feel like he's doing that to me, too. I... I want to give you everything I possibly can. So, guys, I'm out of time. We got to wrap it up. I uh, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching uh, the video stream. And we will see you next time here on The Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. 
Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com. 